Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's do my Libras. And Lucy just made a big old stretch. Lucy goes, come here. Come on, baby. Over here. Coco, come see mama. Oh, it's my baby. Oh, it's Coco. Oh, it's Coco. Yeah. Okay. So, there's that. All right, my little Libras. Let's, we'll see what you guys are up to. Okay. So, I just had to pull that out with another, with another crew. So, this is going to be your overall energy, okay, for, let me put my timer, for January. Um, so, we'll see what they have to say. And um, this is going to be for the second half, for, sorry, um, first half of January. I don't know what that's about. So the second half of January is, is something's definitely going down karmically. I don't see anything. Um, I'm not feeling, you know, negative or positive. Um, so you might be working your way up to something, which does to me some type of courage more than fairness. And you guys are all about fairness. So anywho, let's just see what you get. So Libra. Overall energy for January 2020. The chariot. Okay. And the three of cups. So there's going to be a reason to celebrate. Coming together with friends, community, whatever's going down is regarding relationships, t children. Um, this is determination, self control. You could be, have a career advance, advancement, but. Uh, you might be acknowledged for some type of success, too. I, I mean, whew, this is fantastic. I don't have much Libra in my chart, but I, I, I want to be you guys. I want to be you guys. I'm not going to lie to you. With this, look at that. Dun -dun 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 pushing through there's there's happiness in front of you there's a brand new beginning for you the seven and a three is a ten libra first half of january 2020 libra Magician on the page of feathers. Yeah, you're definitely on a new adventure. <clears throat> you're definitely questioning this new adventure. You might be thinking about going into business, but or going out on your own. <clears throat> I definitely feel like <clears throat> I'm either activating your thought chakra right now or it's gonna be activated. Or somebody needs to talk to you. You could be dealing with a Sag. Vice versa. <clears throat> some, or somebody's watching you. And this is Unless this is you rediscovering something about yourself. Holy shit, this could be so many things. Very interesting. This is like very what if energy to me. Libra, first half of January 2020. Well, it keeps coming out in doses of two. So you have a decision to make about a new direction. Use your gut here, use your intuition.
some of you that might be a secret that needs to be exposed or got exposed, but it is so irrelevant for a majority of you. Very interesting. Libra. You could have a spiritual path, spiritual route you want to go. I feel like someone's watching you. And then you got the Empress. You're going to be successful. You could be dealing with someone extremely spiritual. Like, I, I think this is you in magician energy. But you're coming out swinging in Sag energy. I feel like someone's watching you. You made a decision to push through, move forward. You're going towards excitement. You, you discovered a lot because you're the magician, right? Sometimes it's hard, right? Because it speaks of uh, creating something new for you and it's, it's not always the easiest energy. You discovered a lot about something, even if it's spiritual. Um, it's like a push through. And now the energy is about to flow. I don't know what the decision is regarding. To me, you already decided. Maybe you're like, all right, I'll stick to spirituality. See where it gets me. Tell me about the magician. Um, in regular tarot, this could be somebody watching Sag energy, needing to make a decision between a Sag and an Empress, but you got the Six of Cups. So to me, this is it's going to be extremely successful when it comes to a relationship or uh, children, whatever it's regarding. It's, you got two cards of pure joy here. You could be dealing with a King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, but um, it's, it's, you do have some type of connection here. There's no question. Tell me about the Page of Feathers. Some type of insight, insight intellect. You're about to make some smart moves. I feel like this is Sag or Taurus or Pisces and Libra energy, I'm not gonna lie. So I, I don't feel like this is regular. Like if you're a straight up Libra, you're cross watching a Libra sun, please check out your moon rising or Venus. Especially your um your north node right now. King of Acorn. So now that came out twice because he was right here too. You might want to check out um, Aquarius because this was just in the Aquarius in the same exact placement, but I, I don't really feel Aquarian energy, but you never know. Whatever this is, it's very interesting. I don't think it's been revealed yet, which is ironic because the, the moon hasn't come out at all. Huh. You could have a king of wands watching you because my Libra is right now here. This is why it doesn't feel like you because you're in Sag energy. It's beautiful. Let's see what this decision's about. Something with threes for you guys too. You get the star. Again, you could be dealing with Aquarius, but if you ask me, this is peace healing. You're going in a direction of 
destiny too especially with the star and the high priestess someone could be in the public eye for sure if I saw the six of wands it would be a strong indication too but with with those being out but there's something about the public eye with this it's, it, which is ironic because I don't I don't read this like that and I believe Gemini had this card and it, I, I didn't read it that way either Huh. You, it, you, it's basically saying it's being guided to while well, you're using your intuition. Tell me about the high priestess. You're using some type of knowledge, sacred knowledge, intuition, while well, you're being guided. There's no question. Very interesting. You got the eight of pens, so this could be regarding spiritual work, like, or a spiritual commitment. You're making progress, but I, I saw that anyway. You're pushing through, look at you go. Tell me about the Empress. The Three of Wands and the Five of Shells, which is the Five of Cups. So you have some type of insight, foresight, like I was saying, right? But this is the Three of Wands talks about your future, ships being here, exploring the possibilities. This is you having hope with the star here, too. I don't know if you're relying on destiny here, but um, something is... There is some type of turnaround for some of you. Others of you, you're just getting out of the Five of Cups type energy because I, damn, I don't see it here at all. So I don't know if you're dealing with a water sign or a fire sign that a feminine energy is no longer with. Or somebody's feeling extremely hopeful. It could be somebody who's watching you. It looks like there's fire watching you. And again, look at this is fire, the Three of Wands watching. So you could have a strong water placement, too. You definitely have fire watching you. And they, they seem hopeful. Maybe somebody wants a commitment. That's so random and out of the blue. And you, you do have celebration here. And you do have the king of wands twice. And damn, empress right there. Someone's watching. It's almost like someone's watching you move forward. You got those threes. Someone's is is hopeful, or well, they're watching you moving forward. They're watching you, feeling hopeful, like you made a massive readjustment in your life, and you did. And and they're just kind of like watching, but this is somebody who looks like they want to take action. Okay, so this is. This is interesting. I, I can't remember if when I, in the very beginning I was like something about the second half. It's going to be very interesting for you. But even this next two weeks is extremely interesting to you. There was some type of massive shift on the third, which is today, I believe. Yeah, Friday, January 3rd. Something, something went down for you guys today. Massive energy shift. You guys won't see this. I'm probably not going to upload these until tomorrow. <clears throat> Let's just see what the next, the last two weeks looks like. Which is, I didn't do this for anybody else, but it's, it's going to be something. Yeah, see, page of wands. You're going to be following your passion. You're going to be able to take on any challenge. There's opportunities, there's excitement, there's adventure. You're going to love it. 
with the Ace of Cups. So it could be somebody new that's about to come into your life or... And it's a spiritual insight. I was feeling insight. I believe it was you guys. But deep and everlasting. Positive emotion. Excitement. I don't even think you're going to see it coming, to be honest with you. All right. I love you guys. Bye.